I think Sabah has a lot to offer. Um, one is, is, I think it's the second biggest state in Malaysia and there's a lot of, as you can see, there's a lot of potential in terms of space and there's a lot of places, a lot of things that you can turn into, like, especially with um, the government pushing for zero carbon. So the push towards um, green industries and I can see that happening over here in, in Sabah because you have, you have, you have got solar cells um, manufacturing plant coming up, you have your EV uh, batteries coming up. So all these kind of high, high value intensi intensity kind of industries that's going to push forward your manufacturing sector. And then on top of that, I believe you also have um, hydroelectric plants that's going to be coming on stream soon because it's under construction right now. And that will definitely give Sarawak a run for their money because Sarawak is also pushing for with hydroelectric dams to provide green energy for such industries. And these are the sort of things that will definitely pull in foreign investors because foreign investors now, they are all looking at how green it is whether you are pushing for zero carbon. So Sabah has that potential as well. And pushing forward with, your, with, with this kind of initiatives, you are going to draw in a lot of investment, not just from overseas, but from domestic market as well. Because sooner or later, Malaysian, developer, Malaysian developers and Malaysian industry and all the manufacturing are all pushing for green. So with that kind of push forward with for Sabah, I think it's going to be one of those states that definitely will be looked into. And I think give it five, ten years, it'll be booming. And that that in turn will generate a lot of spin-off and that's also good for the property industry.